Taking drug companies to court, Attorney General Mike DeWine announced he's suing five drug manufacturers for flooding Ohio with addictive painkillers. He says they've created a deadly mess in our state and they should pay to clean it up. First News anchor Stan Boney is following this story for us tonight. He has more details and reaction from drug companies. Stan joins us live in the studio. What Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine is most upset with is the marketing strategies that the drug companies use to sell their prescription pain medications. In fact, he called the marketing deceptive that the drug companies were not being upfront with the people using the drugs that they could become addictive. Now, the announcement was made uh, this morning in Columbus. Mike DeWine was there. The five companies named were Janssen, Allergan, Allergen, Purdue Pharma, Endo, and Cephalon. Among the drugs the companies make are Oxycontin, Percocet, and Percodan. Now, DeWine was joined by Christiana Arendondo of Ross County, whose 24-year-old daughter died of a drug overdose in 2015. I just returned from talking with April Carraway of the Trumbull County Mental Health and Recovery Board. I think it's a good decision. I think there should be some accountability because the misperception is if I follow the directions my doctor gave and just take my pain meds as prescribed, I won't become addicted, and that's not true. Both Endo and Allergen had no comment, but this was the statement from Purdue Pharma. We share the Attorney General's concerns. Oxycontin accounts for less than 2% of the opioid prescription market, but we are an industry leader in the development of abuse deterrent technology and supporting access to naloxone. DeWine also accused the drug companies of Medicaid fraud and violating the Ohio Consumer Sales Practices Act. He is seeking unspecified damages on behalf of the state and repayment to consumers. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.